hi guys welcome to a new video in today's video we are going to laser my face this is a close-up of my face you can see there are patches where the hair grows I have completed eight sessions in two months that is one time a week and you can see the results right over here and um, we are going to shave my face that's how we are going to prep my skin this is how I shave my face. I am using the Gillette Venus razor. You can use this one or you can use the stinky razors or commonly known as facial razors. But I find this a better option because my face has been through a lot. I have tried facial hair removal creams. I have used waxing. I have used epilators and whatnot but uh, i have not continued with waxing because waxing does not work on my face considering that i have pcos hair will still grow and waxing when you wax your face you're pulling your skin that pulling can cause cause sagging so i don't want that so since i could afford laser device i continued proceeded you could see i proceeded with purchasing the device since i could afford it it was in my budget i went on to purchase the device the next question is since i have already purchased ipl devices why did i go on to purchase the laser device laser is considered to give you permanent results i would not say permanent results but long-term results and much faster results so I thought laser would be best for my face considering that I have like thick coarse hair on my face and I didn't want that anymore. Laser seemed to be a better option. You could dampen your face and shave or you can opt for you know applying some oil, some oil based product in shaving but I don't want to uh, blunt the blades that are there on this shave I, uh, on this razor cartridge because this uh, razor cartridge can go on for at least five or six times i use at least five or six times and then once we are done we can laser our face this is what my skin should look like once i have shaved no stubble just clean shave now we will go ahead and apply the pre-lock screen Prelox is the anesthetic topical cream that I've spoken of earlier. You can either opt for this one or any other topical anesthetic cream that is available in your local pharmacy. This is something I have researched online and, and I'm using it since my laser journey. It is not a spons sponsored by Prelox company or anything. Something I researched online and it works just fine. The price of this is around 600 so this is how i apply i dot it all over my face like so cover the areas that i'm going to treat and then spread it all over my face first clockwise then anti-clockwise so that all the area is covered and the anesthetic effect lasts long enough for my laser session you're supposed to apply this and keep it for one hour before you treat the face there are some stickers which they call band-aid that you are supposed to keep intact on your on the area you are going to treat but i don't use those i just apply they are band-aids or stickers you could call them they look like stickers actually i have not shown it in this video but i just apply the cream cover the area that i'm going to treat leave it on for an hour and then go ahead with the laser one hour later i actually speak in this video but somehow the background noise overpowers the video so that's why i'm going in voiceover mode here we have my laser the tria beauty laser i have powered it on but it's lock in the lock mode so you have to either place your finger on the sensor or place it on your skin to unlock it once it is unlocked 
I am on a level 5 and I continue to keep it on level 5 because if you work it on level 5 uh, you experience faster results if you want to start with level 1 you will not see results as fast I have actually experienced 90% hair reduction because of that reason I am on voiceover mode now you see my lips moving but somehow I want to continue in voiceover mode because the actual footage of the video didn't capture my voice or what I am speaking well enough we will now work on my skin you have to just place the you know window that small window on your skin I'm going to show you the cover the area that I'm about to cover on my face so let's begin lasering you have to just keep the window on your skin and continue in this overlapping motion don't go too far you have to just overlap so that the area that you have covered in that previous place that you have placed the laser doesn't miss any part you just go in the overlapping motion as instructed in the instructions manual you will experience a slight redness at the time of lasering but you continue to laser in that overlapping motion as I've spoken of until you have covered all the area I'm not going to just hit on the spots that you know the area that has uh, hair growing I just go on as my usual method and continue to laser the whole area that I have had previously hair growing that way I don't have to you know go on a close-up mode and you, you know target the spots that I have had hair growing just laser away once I'm done lasering I'm going to prepare a face mask here we have my Dead Sea mud mask which exfoliates clears acne deep cleanses and removes blackheads this is it is a higher hyaluronic acid infused uh, face mask I find this best to you know heal my skin so I'm going to just scoop out that mud mask and add the Himalaya neem face pack which are both going to heal my skin of the damage that the laser has done it doesn't do any major damage or anything but it is good going to repair heal or cure any damage and a minor damage that might have been caused I don't know I don't see any visible damages or anything but this is best you can do this adding baking soda you or you can di directly apply this or you can apply a home remedy which is basin turmeric some yogurt and you know add baking soda again to it what is the point of adding baking soda it will even your skin tone or glow your skin allow your skin to glow so you can either use these store bought or online store bought uh, face masks or you can apply the regular you know mask that you can easily apply uh, prepare from the pantry of your home so when you are preparing this mask you're supposed to blend it properly and apply it on your skin make sure to blend this mix properly so that it is well incorporated and apply to the area that you have treated you need some treatment right over here I have ordered a, a peeling solution the ones with EHA and BHA to target these areas. I have tried a lot of face packs and face masks but still it doesn't work. I think it is towards the end. This was like a big huge bump on my face. I have used the derma suction and that is how it has reduced the size. These were bigger and I have to really focus on my diet considering that I have PCOS. Actually I wanted to make a dedicated video on PCOS and what diet you should follow. So that's all for this video and how I use this 
Nutria Beauty Laser. This is the same kind of technology used in professional lasers. The diode laser is what is used in this laser. So, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have something regarding this to talk about, comment in the section below. And don't feel to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until then, bye.